maths and sequences. Just when you thought you were clear of doing maths, here it is again, and this time there's no calculator. You'll be required to do addition, subtraction, multiplying and division, so you'd better take the chance to brush up while you can. Try practicing by reciting your times table, so they're fresh in your head for when you start. You'll also need to think logically about the questions presented to you. This way you'll be able to see sequences as soon as you've read the question. By practicing sums beforehand, you'll equip yourself for when mathematical challenges are given to you. Your brain will be stretched and trained to answer sums quickly, so it'll be like flying on automatic pilot when it comes to finding the missing number in a sum. Sometimes you'll have to work out the answer to the sum. Other times you'll have to work out the missing number when the answer is already given. So it's important for you to understand every step. The test may ask you to use the alphabet when figuring out math sequences, so your prior training from the alphabet section should help you with this. This section will teach you different methods of picking up sequences that will build on your earlier learning. Using letters to create a sequence that calls upon your math skills will also allow you to use your knowledge of the alphabet and give you a better chance of completing the test questions quicker. Every method that you learn to use will combine your alphabet skills and your math skills, so lacking in either one really isn't an option for this part of the test. Similarly, you may also be asked to answer letter-coded questions where each letter equals a number and you must answer the sum by giving a letter. You'll be asked to find sequences in numbers too and it's likely that you'll have to find missing numbers the same way you found missing letters. For example, the sequence between the numbers 19, 15 and 11 is minus 4, so the missing number would be 7. These kinds of sequences will test your addition, subtraction, multiplication and division skills. The quicker you can spot the relationship between the numbers you're given, the quicker you can give your answer. When in doubt, always write down your sums instead of trying to do them in your head.